Hey guys, in today's video, it's going to be a short essay on what makes a good movie character. And I'll be providing examples from classic 80s and 90s action films. So what exactly does make a good movie character? Why are we rooting for this character? Well, there's a few reasons, and I'll cover them here. But go ahead and do me a small favor real quick. Go ahead and click that like button to help support the channel, help get this video out there. We need to be known. Our presence needs to be known on YouTube. Oh, if you're not yet subscribed, by the way, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're a fan of the 80s and 90s action martial arts genre, basically the stuff on this bookcase back here. If you like this stuff, you're going to like this channel. I cover a lot of this stuff. All right, so without further ado, let's get into it. There are certain character traits that everyone admires and when portrayed in film, it makes sense that the audience would get behind and root for a character who has such traits. These include being loyal, Hey Sam, this is me, Billy. Wish I could be there to split all that money with you, but I guess if you're listening to this, then it's all yours now, right? Anyhow, lay low and don't go getting into things the way you sometimes do. Oh, and Sam? I'm glad I knew you. Modest. We have friends in Hong Kong who say that he will wipe the floor with you. What do you think about that? Anything is possible. Charismatic. Because of my big legs and karate, I can do the splits, no problem. And courageous. I order you to come forward and you will be given a fair trial. Drop your weapon and remain where you are. You got any ideas? Fuck them. Of course, you'd also want the character to have some sort of vulnerability to make them seem more real so that the audience can relate to them. As can be seen here in the physical sense in Lionheart. And in, in the internal emotional sense here in Rocky 3. We got everything but the truth. What's the truth, damn it? I'm afraid! Alright? You wanna hear me say it? You wanna break me down? Alright, I'm afraid! Who the hell wouldn't be scared of Clever laying in the ring? Well, I bet you Steven Seagal wouldn't. Lack of vulnerability is a common complaint with Steven Seagal characters, by the way. If you don't have that badge and that gun, these guys would take right your head off. Here's my gun, and here's my badge. This is your trophy. This is your trophy, okay? Someone get it. Because he often seems invincible. Who is he? You want to know who he is? Sir, try this. Yeah. Delve down into the deepest bowels of your soul. Try to imagine the ultimate fucking nightmare. And that won't come close to this son of a bitch when he gets pissed. You kind of have to toe a fine line here because you don't want the character to seem too invincible, but on the other hand, the audience does appreciate someone who is good at what they do. Just pretty good? Boy, it takes a lot to impress some women. Do you ever get used to it? Used to what? The killing. The character should be very good at what he does, a true professional. I'm sure all of us can appreciate and even admire great skill when we see it. Girls only want boyfriends who have great skills. What do you mean? You know, like... Nunchuck skills... <laughs> Bow hunting skills. No! Computer hacking skills. The character also needs a worthy goal, and in my opinion, this is what made the original Rocky so great. And I'm not referring to his chance at winning the heavyweight boxing title, by the way. Really 
really don't matter if I lose this fight. Because all I want to do is go to distance. Nobody's ever gone the distance with Creed. And if I can go that distance, I want to know for the first time in my life, see? That I weren't just another bum from the neighborhood. Or in the case of Commando, there's probably nothing more worthy than rescuing your kidnapped daughter. My people got some business with you. And if he wants your kid back, then you gotta cooperate. Right? Wrong. Wow! <laughs> that, that is too much! If the character has a good sense of humor, that always helps as well. You're a funny guy, Sally. I like you. That's why I'm going to kill you last. Remember, Sally, when I promised to kill you last? That's right, Major. You did. I lied. What'd you do with Sally? I let him go. Marion Cobretti. Is that really his name? I always wanted to have a tougher one myself. You know, something a little harder name. Like what? Alice. <laughs> Chad, take a bite. Be a man. What's it supposed to do? Make my dick bigger? <laughs> <laughs> and of course, let us not forget the coolness factor. He's such a cool guy. <laughs> Cool guy, what are you, in eighth grade? Being nice is also a trait the audience can always get behind. I have to be nice. I don't think I can be that nice. You'll be nice! <laughs> a sympathetic backstory is also very helpful. The audience needs to want the character to end up in a better place by the end of the movie. Get out. Unlike Leon from Lionheart, Rambo didn't necessarily end up in a better place by the end of First Blood, but at least he was able to stay in shape. In all seriousness, I guess being able to vent his frustration was at the very least cathartic. You kids don't go out and try that. <laughs> you stay in school. But more importantly, he had someone to talk to who's sincerely listening with an open ear. Sometimes that's all you need. Moving on, nobody likes a selfish person, but the opposite, being selfless, always wins an audience over. Hey, she didn't. Yeah, that's where your money's been coming from. No, 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 look. Now, I think you owe him a minute of your time to say what he's got to say. Now let's not forget Hart. Being softer and more compassionate is a great contrast to an otherwise tough guy. You definitely got Hart by Don't ever lose it, because you never get back. For example, in an interview with the writer-director of Lionheart, Mr. Sheldon Luttage said Van Damme's female fans seem especially enamored of this film because it was the first and possibly the best to showcase JCVD's softer, more compassionate side. In Lionheart, he's not fighting for revenge or to honor his sensei. What? To honor you, Shidoshi. Or any of the usual motivations that are typical of these sorts of movies. He's fighting for his family. He's getting himself bruised and bloodied in these brutal street fights so that his little niece can get a new bicycle. The man is clearly all heart. And let's give Rocky V some respect, by the way, to help showcase another example of this. I know when somebody like Tommy comes along, you feel alive. But he's not you, he doesn't have your heart. All those fighters you beat, you beat him with heart. Of course, integrity is important. Well, where, where, where did you come up with that? You have no integrity. 
Unlike George from Seinfeld, Rambo has shown great integrity in Rambo 3 after finding out Colonel Troutman has been captured by the Soviets. Rambo! Something went wrong. What happened? Soviets intercepted the team just over the border. He was at peace prior to this and wanting nothing else to do with war. I don't know what you think about this place, but I like it. I like being here. I like working here. I like belonging to something. However, he made a decision to help regardless of the cost to himself. Can you get me in? It can't be done officially. You make it unofficial. I want you to know up front that if you're captured, will deny any participation or even knowledge of your existence. I'm used to it. Good characters do the right thing and stay true to their values. The audience also wants to see the character redeem himself in some way. For example, Van Damme's character Sam Gillen starts off as an escaped convict and nowhere to run, but by the end of the film, he becomes a hero to not only a widow and her children, but a whole community of farmers, saving them from crooked real estate developers. But you have in this town a lot of land which can be used so much more efficiently and in a way that everyone would benefit. Now, I want to guarantee you all, if you are bastard, do you know who I am? I know what you are. And of course, the ultimate showcase of redemption was shown in Rambo 2, not necessarily for himself, but rather the country, which sees Rambo rescue the forgotten POWs Washington left behind, where it's no longer up to some stupid heartless politician, but rather Rambo. Do we get to win this time? This time it's up to you. Hoping set in motion to finishing something those people in Washington started. You know there's more men out there. You know where they are. Find them, or I'll find you. Let me know what some of your favorite character traits are, and go ahead and share some examples of them when they were shown in classic 80s and 90s movies in the comments below.